High school students throughout the state participated in the first ever statewide mock election this week. And for this week's Golden Apple, our Logan Gay visited Brainerd High School to watch the students cast their first votes. Come November 8th, thousands of people will be casting their votes for the next president of the United States. However, this week, over 200 high schools across the state voiced their opinions on the matter at the first ever statewide mock election. The Secretary of State has um, an employee in charge of what they're calling student votes. And they contacted me like last summer and said, would you, would you be willing to be part of this mock election? And they ended up with almost 300 schools across the state that said they would. Students in grades 9 through 12 were able to vote for one party from a list of nine candidates. The mock election was able to establish the importance of being a responsible voter. There's a lot to know. you got to pay a lot of attention. you got to use a lot of resources to make sure that you vote for the right person that you want to vote for. And there's a lot that goes into it, more than just watching some TV. I think it's awesome that people are, younger people are getting into the election because we're the next generation. So, who was the winner? Well, the students have spoken. Last I checked, it was pretty close. Um, Donald Trump was ahead, but I don't have all of the ballots tallied yet. Now, although the mock election did not count, a very special group of students is contributing to the election in a very real way by becoming election judges. They are to take it seriously and learn from the experience, observe, visit maybe with a few of the people coming to vote. And the ultimate goal is that they'll take an interest in serving as an election judge and perhaps in the future um, do so um, on an, a regular basis every two years. Being an election judge is a big responsibility, but it gives the younger generation a first-hand look at the election process. And they are looking forward to being a part of such an historic election, even if they can't vote. It's kind of intimidating how much work they put in through everything. It's, it, it's kind of awing how much they put into all of this. Brainerd Social Studies teacher Kathy Hegstrom is using this election to remind her students that no matter who they are voting for, to exercise their rights and vote. Be informed before you, you vote, but above all, vote and above all be part of an active part of society. In Brainerd, for this week's Go to Apple, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.